Welcome, welcome. We are going to talk about, in this video, we are going to talk about graphing inequalities with two variables, and we're going to look at the graph. Now, uh, I'm just going to quickly talk about our inequality. It says y is greater than x is not negative 2. I, I already had it graphed here um, for our convenience. There's no number line underneath there, so I know that my line is going to be dotted. My slope in here is 1. My y-intercept is negative 2. Now, I want to determine whether or not I should shade above my graph or below my graph. Because remember, this line is my boundary line. This is the boundary line. Oops, I'm spelling this wrong. This line is the boundary line. It's cutting my graph into two regions. I want to know which region of my graph is going to be true for my inequality, okay? So, and this will help us in the future with word problems and other problems and situations that arise. So, now I'm going to, the easiest point is to look at our graph and use this point, zero, zero. That will almost always, with the exception of a couple of um, problems, if, if the problem goes through the origin, you're not gonna wanna use zero, zero. But if it doesn't go through the origin, zero, zero is going to be your best bet to use to decide whether or not which region is going to um, be shaded. So I'm gonna plug in the coordinate point, zero, zero. My x, my y value is zero, greater than x is zero, minus two. So zero minus two is minus two. Zero is greater than minus two, this is true. So that means at this point, if I were to look that point, 0, 0, should be shaded. So then I know, since that should be shaded, it's true, I'm going to shade the top half of my graph. If it was false, I would shade the other side, because that means it wouldn't need to be shaded. I'm going to talk, let's do number 3. So this would be a quick one. Now, it says that x is greater than negative 1. Again, this is a... Um, greater than, it doesn't say equal to, so our line is going to be dashed. Now, letter B is less or greater than or equal to, so that's going to be a solid line. Now, I'm going to, again, I'm going to pick that coordinate point, 0, 0. So I'm going to plug in 0, 0. Well, I don't have a Y value here to plug in, but I do have an X value. So I'm going to say 0, my X value is 0, greater than negative 1. Is this true? Yes. So this means it's a solution. So that means it should be shaded. So I'm going to shade my zero. So that means it's going to be to the right of our graph. Number two, or letter B, I'm going to again use zero, zero, because that's the coordinate point right down here. Now I'm going to plug in. Now I don't have an x value, but I do have a y value. So I'm going to plug in zero for my y value. 0 is greater than 2. No, this is false. 0 is not greater than or equal to 2. It's less than. So we know that that means that that region, that 0, should not be shaded. So I need to shade the top region. Okay, so as you can see, my 0, 0 point is not shaded in question B, but it is shaded in question A, which is true. So those are quick and simple, easy uh, questions to answer um, on problem number two and problem number three. And then the next one, I'll go into the next video. See you then.